Today, I'm testing how durable this bed liner is. Because two weeks ago, I had sprayed this kit on my bed. And now that it's completely dry, I'm gonna put it to the test and see if it's really as scratch and abrasion resistant as it says it is on the box. And the way I'm gonna test it is by throwing a bunch of random everyday stuff inside of so it. So starting with the semi-truck exhaust pipe, I carried it over to throw it in, but it just bounced like a rubber ball. It wasn't until I pushed it inside that the surface scratches started appearing. But since the semi-truck exhaust isn't really something everybody has in their backyard, I moved over to the things more common in a household like a pair of CV axles, a pair of old struts, an exhaust muffler, and a battery pack. And because I'm inclusive of everybody, some weights for the gym bros. But to be honest, I wasn't even phased yet, so I also threw in some old wheels from a truck and dirt bike, a chainsaw and toolbox, other car parts that were just laying around, and since the bed was starting to get full, I had to make room for this larger sized pipe. But there was still a lot of stuff left to test, and I was eager to see how messed up the bed was. So quickly, I finished throwing the rest of the stuff inside, and once everything was in, I started removing everything little by little until everything was off. And as I was taking the the things off it was not looking good for the diy bed liner i couldn't tell if on the surface there was deep scratches or if it was just dirt so i had to pull a housewife and sweep out everything but immediately this large dent stood out like a sore thumb and the further i got into the bed the deeper the scratches got which i'm pretty sure were from the bigger heavier stuff that i threw in but regardless even though it didn't resist the really hard scratches the bed liner was worth it because it protected it like it said it would and it wasn't as expensive as something like linex